World Cup, 64 teams, three days of bowls action. And it just brings people together. The social element of it is absolutely massive. It enables people to meet people from other regions, other clubs that they would never get the opportunity to run into in their day-to-day -day, uh, lives. Uh, and it's fantastic to see teams from Cavan play teams from Kerry and teams from Cork play teams from uh, from Galway. Uh, it just, uh, from all over the country, it really is. It's a wonderful bringing together of fans of the sport. And it's the biggest competition of its kind in the country. And we're inordinately proud of it. The competition here is for 32 teams in the large balls, 32 in the small balls. It's for it's the All Ireland uh, uh, for the bowling for active retirement Ireland, and uh, the format of the competition is that there's four in each group. The first day we play, uh, we segregate the teams as we have two, four competitions going on. We have two cups for the large and small balls and we have two plates then for the small balls and the large balls. On the first day, we had the top two teams in each group then qualify to go into the cup and the bottom two teams go into the plate. And, and then on the next, on the, our second day of the bowling, we have one team qualifying from each group to go into the semi-finals uh, and then we play the semi-finals in the morning and then the final in the afternoon. Most of the clubs that are playing now, this is the fifth or sixth year of the national bowls and uh, some of them play in different leagues as well. They're fairly well queued in on all the, the rules and regulations and I think I've been here now, this is my third day here and I had to give two rulings on, on the, over, uh, over the three days. And what were those rulings? Were they technical? The, ruling, uh, the ruling one was one, whether one was in the ditch or not. Uh, we use, you can use a, a little set square, you go along the line and you can tell whether the ball is in or out. And the other was a query about, uh, they had, the two skips had already measured and it was very, very close, so they called the referee to, to do a measure and then had to make a decision on the measure then. I watched some of the measuring today, they're very, very tight, isn't they? Yeah. There is, there's some of them, there's only fractions in it. Sometimes, I mean, I carry in my bag, I carry playing cards or a credit card. They're so close and you put it down, you could have two balls practically touching the jack. So if you, if you, sometimes you can actually, uh, they're equal dis if they're equal distance from the jack, what happens then is uh, it's an end played and no score for that end. But then other times there's, uh, there's, there could be only the uh, difference of a, of, a, of a playing card between winning and losing, uh, 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 whichever ball is the closest to the jack. Our active retirement group formed in 2002 in Tulla County, Carlow. And in 2003 we got a grant and we bought a mat. And now we have about 32 members and we have... Uh, uh, we have um, we have two teams playing up here and uh, we have four mats and we, we use the local hall, community hall and uh, we have absolutely brilliant facilities. So Active Retirement Ireland has, has certainly helped you all? Oh it has indeed but uh, you know and I mean this is a fantastic competition I mean this all the clubs that uh, are affiliated to Active Retirement they look forward to the All Ireland and we take it to different parts of the country as well and uh, we have, in a lot of cases, we have more teams than we can cater for. So it's, uh, we, have, we use 16 mats to cater for, 60, uh, for the 64 teams, 16 small and 16 large. Explain the difference between large and small bowls to me, please. The basic difference is the weight of the bowl and the size of the bowl. Uh, certain parts of the country they use uh, large balls. We, I, I'm uh, involved with uh, the southeast region, and they're all small balls, and, and Dublin is all small balls. And it's basically the the the, way, the actual weight of them, and uh, they actually react slightly different on the carpets, uh, on the bowling carpets as well. The comments we get back from all our uh, all of the players that are participating is absolutely brilliant. 
they know they're really the and I mean and the work that's done at head office is all done at uh, actual retirement Ireland at head office and uh, they have it down to a T now and uh, I'd say it's one of the best run competitions in the whole of the country. We came up on, on Monday, we said to ourselves, we were going to give it our crack. We were after being playing in Briefy and we played in Glen Eagles last year. And uh, we did we, we got runner up in the plate in Briefy back about four or five years ago. So we came up this year and we had a pretty strong team, we said to ourselves, and we, for the club, because we, we have about, what, 18 to 22 bowling members. We play every Tuesday night, which is absolutely wonderful. But we said we'd come up today and we had just that inkling that if we gave it and concentrated on it, and we won two on the f three matches the first day, and we won our three matches yesterday. And funny enough, the team that we played in the final beat us 12-3 on Monday. So we said to ourselves, look it, we'll throw everything at them today. And we just went out, and it was absolutely fantastic. And I want to thank the team, and I want to thank the club. I want to thank the second team for doing so well. They won two matches yesterday and drawn one. And I want to thank Gay Goldrick, John McGovern, John Flynn for... The effort to put in now today, it was, and so over the last three or four days, it was absolutely brilliant. But for the club as a whole, it it's amazing what it means to the club. It'll just attract more members to our club. There's no question at all about it. it. It's it's a great feeling. Now you play large bowls. We play large bowls. Yeah, we've always played the large bowls. We never play the small bowls. Large bowls is predominantly an outdoor sport, is it? Uh, you can play it outdoor, but there's not uh, there's not a lot of uh, outdoor bowls played in this country. We don't have the weather, and you know what I mean. At that time, there's some bowls played in Dublin. A lot of it played in Belfast. You know what I mean. But it's mostly indoor bowls in this country. You know what I mean. Now we have a league in Cavan, and Cavan Monaghan League. We play about 15 games in, during the winter. You know what I mean in the league and that type of thing. You know. How long has the Act of Virginians been going? About 11, 11 or 12 years, 10, 11, 12 years going. And we started up bowls back about 10 years ago. And there was only maybe about 10 coming to play the bowls. And I'd say in the last five, six years, they've grew and grown. And that we have, I'd say for Tuesday night, we have between 18 to 22 coming every Tuesday night. And we have our... We play at one game and we have a cup of tea and our break. We start around half seven, we finish about quarter past ten. Act, active Retirement Ireland has obviously meant a lot to you. It has, there's no doubt at all about it. We have a great active Virginians. We, we, we go on out in about twice a year and um, to take part in different events now. Uh, I don't take it part in the terrible, I just love the bowls and I go on outings and things like that. But to play golf, to play golf you know, from Monday morning, from Wednesday morning, they pitch and putt and that everything. And to have art and to have um, gym classes and things like that, you know what I mean? But it, it's a great act. We have about 96 members in Active Virginians. You know That's I mean? a big club. That's a big club. It's a big club for a small town. We came here with just to enjoy ourselves, so now we've won, it's like the, it's like the icing on the cake. And it saves us going to Newbridge to buy a plate on the way back. <laughs> did you expect to win? I mean, it's a long three days, isn't it? Oh, no, no, we did not. No, we was we was lucky enough to get through in the um, on the second day by our point score, and this gave us the uh, so to, uh, to actually get through today was an absolute. We're over the moon anyway. And what was the toughest match you had? Um, I'd say against Nadine, we um, although the scores. Although the scores were sort of very close, but it was a good, a good tactical game. Um, whereas the finals really, it wasn't quite as good for us because playing on a, playing a mat on a mat, is a very slow game. But I think the Dean was the best one, wasn't it? Yes, I yeah. think it was. And apart from the fact that the game was nice, the team we played was done in such a friendly atmosphere that with whoever had won, it was really, it was really a great game from that point of view. Well, well done. Ruth, you have a good story to tell, apparently. I joined active retirement after I came back to Ireland. I was widowed some years ago, and I decided I was from Cork anyway. I'd come back. And I met a lady one day and asked me to join the choir. And I joined the active retirement choir. Then I went to meetings. I met Malcolm at those meetings. And from there, I've done all sorts of things with them. I do the go for life. I played bowls then more by accident than design 
And they've been so encouraging and so welcoming. I'm passionate that no one should be at ho lonely at home on their own. There's no excuse for not going out and trying something. An active retirement gives you everything. And I genuinely feel it saved my life. I was coming from a very lonely place. And it's been wonderful for me. I've made so many friends, but the encouragement you get is lovely. And I believe it's Mae Quaid who says about, we should have the cup of tea and a chat. I'm very good at the chat. <laughs> but active retirement is a very important part of my life now. Well, I mean, the real, re you know, one, one example, you wouldn't be here in Donegal today. No. Other than, no, no. And I, I was quite by accident. I was the sub. I only learned at breakfast one day that I was needed. And the shirt actually belongs to the man, and he was a lot smaller than me. <laughs> but it's a little bit surreal for me today, and it's been so friendly. Everybody's been very encouraging and welcoming, and it's the encouragement that is the important part. It, pro it proves that life is an adventure, isn't it? Oh, is, life yeah. is wonderful. And, and the thing is, it's not just two of us. This is a team event, you know. There's, there's apart from the apart from the other two players, the people that came to support us has to encourage us. That's what it's about. It's not just one person or two, it's team effort. And the same with active retirement, it's about team enjoyment, not individuals. Saying that, name, name your other players today. We have, we have Malcolm Rogers, we have Kay Savage, we have David Rendell and Ruth Cornfack. And all are winners today. They're all winners, yeah. And um, even our other teams that was that actually had done as many games as us, that we was lucky enough to go through on the points difference, that they won as many games as us, but we're the lucky ones that we're going to take the plate, not them. We're very proud to be the first team from Waterford to uh, win this cup because normally it's one up to Carlo and other places such as Wicklow and places we never heard of, but we're delighted to win it anyway. And uh, it's an honour to be the first skip to lift that cup for Waterford. And who were the other members of your team today? Uh, we had uh, Tom Hearn as the lead. We had John Halpin as the second and Paddy Doherty as the third. And what part of Waterford are you from? I'm from Liz Duggan in Waterford up by Walsh Park. And where's the whole club based? The club is based in Kilbarra, the Kilbarra Community Centre. Uh, and in Manor St. John in Liz Duggan. We, we use two halls, but uh, we've been playing bowls for maybe three years and our, our group was founded maybe five years ago. So we're together for about five years. And we run a lot of bowls competitions in Waterford for maybe 40 to 50 people and it's getting very much very much a popular sport down there because it's not a, a physical sport and yet it's a very enjoyable sport and people show that they're still determined to win something and it makes them active and healthy and it's a great thing for people over 60 years of age. How much help has Active Retirement Ireland made to a club like yourselves? Well Active Retirement, we wouldn't be able to play this competition without Active Retirement and they facilitate us by hiring the hotels in different parts of the country and even that's great for the people because it wouldn't be as much fun if you were just playing in your own backyard. So we enjoy travelling to these competitions, really to the major ones and our, our form of bowls now is not played from Cork up to Northern Ireland. They play with a bigger type of bowl and the bowl we play is for the eastern side of Ireland, down, to, down as far as Waterford. So uh, we would play in competitions up in Carlow and Wexford and Kilkenny normally. John, you're at the other end of it. You lost a final today to St. Paul's at Waterford. Was it close? No, very one-sided. And I'd like to congratulate St. Paul's on winning it. And they were the best team on the day. Well, what was it like playing against them? Ah, lovely. Good, nice men, nice crowd to play, yeah. The rest of your team, can you name them please? The rest of the team would be Behi Scott, Mary Dunn and Noel Fallon. That's my team, the team. Now, Avoca Indoor Bowls, how long has it been going? Uh, about four years, four or five years. And did that come from Active Retirement Ireland? Uh, it did indeed, yes. Yes, the start of Active Retirement. 
And you play all across the South East, I presume? Uh, yes, yeah, South East Wicklow. We have a league there, Wicklow League, so we play in that. There's eight teams in it. Tom, you've just beaten your neighbours, Michael, in a final. That's correct, yes. And, uh, well, we know them very well, so, um, like, it was a pleasure to beat them, of course, but um, because uh, Michael uh, brought home the cup last year, you know, from Killarney. So it was, uh, it was nice to uh, be there or thereabouts this year. We, we're bringing home the plate for the simple reason um, we, we just got pipped out of the cup. And uh, th now the balance side have only been started about um, two years. And I came out from Tullow to give them um, demonstrations and, and to help them. Uh, and uh, by God, they have come on in leaps and bounds. Now, we've only, it's only a small club. We've only got uh, 12 or 13 players. Pahabi is the skip. I'm Tom Keeley. I'm number three. Um, Tom Nolan is number two. And Jamie Byrne is number one. We've played over in, in Mayo, in Castle Bar. We played down in um, Kerry, in Killarney. And now we're up here um, this time. Yeah. So Active Retirement Ireland has obviously meant a lot to you. Yes. It got us out of the house. My wife, she plays as well, and we um, we we loved we loved the balls. But then we go swimming as well. We we have um, Mount Wolseley is a very nice place, lovely hotel, and we are members there, and we go swimming and bowling and so forth. It's incredibly important that older people try and stay physically active. Over two thirds of older people are either overweight or obese. So what we've discovered through uh, research by, by ourselves and by others, 30 minutes of moderate physical activity a day can help people uh, live longer. It can improve their heart health, their mental health and their physical stamina and enable them to stay at home for longer. So that's why we came up with the concept of a national bowls competition six years ago. It's the most popular physical activity among active retirement associations. It's very light physical activity. You can play it with very limited mobility and it just enables people to stay happy, healthy and active for longer. So active Retirement is quite a large organisation with a lot of members. Yeah, Active Retirement has got over 570 groups around the country, over 24,500 members. Uh, it's not just bowls that they do, of course, but all sorts of activities, physical activities, social activities, lifelong learning, leisure, uh, you name it. There's an Active Retirement group that goes and does it. So it's just bringing people together with shared interests and letting people discover that retirement isn't the end of your life, but rather the start of a new part of it. How do you encourage people into active retirement? How do they get to know about it? Well, big competitions like this are a great way for us to spread the word about Active Retirement Ireland. Uh, we take advertising, literature, that we just try and spread the word through our development teams, our outreach workers. We volunteers running up and down the length and breadth of the country trying to spread the good word. But uh, probably the best message we can we can rely on is, is that of uh, word of mouth. Uh, so hopefully 64 teams here had a great couple of days. Uh, they'll go and they'll tell their friends and we might end up with a few more members out of that.